Good morning guys and welcome back to a, another vlog. So I'm sat here on the same position on the sofa. We are still in lockdown here in the UK, but I thought I would vlog this week or the next few days because I want to kind of show you how I'm working sort of behind the scenes, how I'm shooting my content, how I edit my content, and also just like being creative at home. I thought it'd be quite good just to kind of have a day in my life of me working at home and how I shoot my content and basically what I get up to. So today I'm actually going to go on a long walk with Chris and Bailey and just take like an outfit or two with me on the walk and shoot them whilst we're out. So I also have to think about like how I style the outfits, where I want to shoot them, like where we can go on a walk to and obviously keep it all safe as well. And then I need to film some reels at home. I want to um, film a reel for some new H&M bits that I've got in. You'll be able to see them in my latest H&M haul. But the battery is literally flashing at me about to die. So I need to charge this before I carry on with the rest of the vlog. So it is a brunch time. And we've actually got leftovers. Having a little moment. We've actually got leftovers that we had at the weekend. These sweet corn fritters. So we're going to have them with some eggs. But look how many eggs we've got. We can have a chicken farm. <laughs> Do you know what it was though? I went to the shop and then I came back and thought we wouldn't have any, so I got more. Um, so yeah, we're just having some breakfast now and then we're going to head out on a walk and shoot some of my looks. I've got this outfit on at the minute and then I'm going to layer it with the H&M gilet that was featured in my recent H&M haul, so you can see it there. And you see how feature my look? Too fair, actually. I do want to feature your new slippers. I got Chris these Uggs for Valentine's because I was so sick of seeing his ugly adidas sliders around the house and these are a lot more lush he's loving them what's your rating out of 10 10 out of 10 for the uggs 10. <laughs> okay so i'm just styling some looks that i want to shoot today i'm just going to wear one and then take one with me and just get changed wherever we are normally in the street, even though it's absolutely Baltic. But I love this. This is, like I said, it was featured in my H&M haul. It's this new gilet. I need to put my rings on and also do my gel nails because I've ripped them all off again. But I've got this shirt on underneath, then the gilet. Like I said, this is featured in the H&M, but it's actually such a good dupe of the Isabel Morant one. And then I've got it with these trousers, my Dior belt, Chanel bag, and then I'm going to tie it in, obviously not with my slippers. I'm thinking either Converse or chunky boots, but I'm thinking instead of the shirt, do I maybe put like a kind of like a beige roll knit underneath instead and see if we can break it up. The way I also get inspo for my outfit, I spend so much time on Pinterest pinning as I go even if I'm just like sat on the sofa one evening I find it just gives me so much inspo and also a lot of motivation to kind of get dressed and play around with different outfits that maybe I wouldn't have but also obviously that I relate to that are my style so it's a really good way to just kind of go through and get inspo from different outfits a lot of street style pics how to pose sort of like locations that fit with where I normally shoot that is also in the back of my mind when I am always styling my outfits and also helps me put them together in this bag here this is the one that is on loan at the minute from forward got a bit of fluff on it it is so beautiful and i really wish i could wear this like traveling as a tote bag take it to the beach obviously that's not where i'm going i'm going on a long walk to shoot two outfits i put the rest of my outfits in here so i've got a trench coat um that i can mix and match with the outfit that i've got so i can sort of build them it's not that i'm having to change loads so I have to also take that into account when I'm putting my outfits together when I'm shooting them. That I can try and mix and match the pieces together as well. Then in here I've got my lipstick, lip glosses. You guys know I always have Charlotte Tilbury. And some sunnies if I want to like accessorise my outfits. I've also got some poo bags which is just dog mom life. And then at the bottom here I've also got some treats for him. So when I'm shooting a picture on the walk obviously I can keep him occupied. I think they're down here somewhere. So that is my dog mom life, with my big tote, ready to go on a long walk and shoot some looks. We're just 
just on our walk and I found this little coffee shop. Obviously it's closed, but I thought this would actually be quite cool to shoot in front of and it kind of matches my outfit. I've got this like cream trench on with a brown jumper over the top. So this is kind of like how I match my outfits with the locations, kind of get the colors to go and obviously the vibe as well. I know that it'll fit in my feed. So we'll try shoot some here and see how they turn out. So I've just been taking some pictures and these are how they turned out, which I actually really like. It's just kind of like effortless, cool vibe as if I'm waiting for my coffee. Obviously I'm not, I've just got my water in my hand, but I opened up the trench because I thought like when the trench was closed, it just looked a little bit more bulgy if you can see here. So it's just a matter of seeing the images, playing around, seeing what works and just kind of like playing around with the clothes as well and just adjusting yourself to get the picture that you want. That's a wrap. We've got a few shots in like some outfits that I just brought out with us. Now I'm having to wear. <laughs> What's, What's that? Time? That's time out, isn't it? <laughs> but look at me, I look like the Michelin man. I've got all the layers on because <laughs> we don't want to carry it and I'm going to be so hot walking back. But yeah, it's, the sun's come out a little bit so they actually turned out quite nice and I'll show you on the screen. Hopefully I've posted them by now so you'll be able to see how I shot them and styled the looks as well. Okay, so I am back home now. As you can see, I'm sat at my desk. I've just had a quick bite to eat for lunch. I just had a quick sandwich. Um, but I feel like every time you see me, I'm in a different outfit. I look like a robber right now and they're just all black. But I've got my thermals on that I had underneath. I always have thermals when I'm out now because it's just so cold. But yeah, I thought I would show you how I edit my photos. So obviously I've come back. We took a few different um, shots and I'll show you them. So the first thing I always do is I'll go into the shots that we took and go through and favourite the ones I like. So for instance, these last ones that we took here, these were with the bag that I have currently on loan from Forward. So I wanted to take some shots with it and show you how I would sort of style it. So I did some like sat down and then I did some walking, just moving around. And this is how I like to kind of shoot in the minute, just literally like moving around, get different shots. And it just looks a little bit more in the moment and candid as they say, just as if you were snapping me and I didn't know. Um, so these are just kind of some of the shots I took. So I will literally go through these. There's so many, there's a bunch. And this just goes to show there'll literally be like a thousand pictures behind the one that's posted on Instagram. And I'll just favorite the ones I like. And then at the minute, like my street style kind of images, I like to put a little bit of a visco filter on them. So I will come into visco here, for instance import the image into visco and then the filter that i like to use on here is a6 and i'm pretty sure that i pay a subscription now for like the whole year for visco but i think you can do it monthly as well and pay for different filters but my favorite is a6 but as you can see i literally put like naught point percent of it on there like i don't do a lot of the filter like normally like 0 0.7 0 0.8 as you can see, it literally only makes like the slightest difference, but I feel like with this, with my street style pictures, it just makes them look a little bit more consistent and it kind of just adds a little bit of warmth to them. I mean, you can play around in here. There's so many different filters and you can pick which one you like best um, and obviously how much of it you want. I only use a little bit. So I will save that and then go into my Lightroom. I only edit my pictures so slightly. I like them look really kind of natural. So if I go away on holiday, I'll kind of use the same preset and copy and paste them when I'm on that holiday. If I'm sort of shooting in London, I normally have like the same kind of presets for my images because it's same sort of style, like locations, outfit colors. Um, so I can just copy and paste it over. So for this one, for instance, I've shot in this kind of location before. So I can just go into my Lightroom, which is here, this image. So it's not focusing very well. And then you go up to these top three buttons here. Just click copy settings. This is so hard to do it through the viewfinder. Click. Um, yes, the little tick box here. And then I'll go back into the image, which I've imported. And I will simply then just go paste settings. And there you go, it will be the same filter as before. So that is the picture before. You can see it's quite cool tones and then that's it after. So it's only like the slightest edit. It just warms the picture up a little bit. I usually just play around in here, like with the exposure, contrast. I always kind of bring my highlights down, play with the shadows depending on the day, if it's like gloomy or not. I normally bring my whites down slightly and bring the blacks up. because I wanted to bring the black out in the bag. And then I go into the color bit here and I like to add a little bit of warmth to my images and that also kind of makes them a lot more consistent. So I will just add a little bit of warmth there, like only slightly like plus four, as you can see here at the top. 
and then you can go into the color mix here and just play around with the colors as well and this is such a great thing on Lightroom that you can play with you can make an image so different to what it was but for me I only like I said edit so slightly so with the yellow I'll bring the yellow down a bit here in the saturation I don't really like much blue so as you can see the blues are quite low down just to kind of take out those cool tones and then with the orange one here you can kind of play around with your tan so you can make yourself like super tan which is obviously not natural but you can give yourself just that kind of little tanned glow so you can use that and then here in effects you can even put like a grain on your picture if you wanted you can make it like call it all like grainy retro it's not really focusing so i sometimes add the grain up just so it doesn't look so sharp which i really kind of like at the minute and then you can go into your details sharpen the image a little bit so you can really play around but like i said i normally just copy and paste um similar images and I kind of have different presets for like my street style, like my home shots and have different albums in my Lightroom for that. So I'll just like have different albums here that I can go into and copy and paste them. So it's a lot easier. Yeah. And then I will go and sort of pick the ones I want, have a look how they will look in my feed. I use Unum for that and you can just sort of play around with your feed and then see how it will look. So it looks a lot more cohesive as well. So they're pretty much like the main apps that I use for my photos but i actually need to film some reels this afternoon so that's like a whole different ball game that's editing video i'm gonna get all this room ready now because it's quite like a restricted room with having the wardrobes here i normally shoot with this in the background and do my reels that way so i need to basically plan all my outfits out again for this reel which normally takes me like a good 30 minutes or so and then start to get everything set up which will take me another good 10 20 minutes and then film the reel and the reel is normally 30 seconds but i'm telling you it normally takes me so long to film them and edit them that 30 second clip could normally take me all day i know last week i filmed some and i just hated them I haven't uploaded them and I definitely won't upload them I feel like I can be critical with myself that way with my content but I feel like you just know and I don't want to upload anything that I don't like so I literally spent a few days yes last week sorry um filming these reels and I ended up just not even posting them so I felt like I wasted so much time so I'm gonna have a bit more productive week this week shot some images this morning now I'm gonna film some reels and obviously you'll be able to see it all over my Instagram so make sure you follow me over there so I'm midway through filming a reel. Please excuse the clothes everywhere. This is the aftermath, but just look at him. He just stays here on this little sofa, bless him, whilst I like film. He loves just being in the room with me. He pooped from your walk. He's so tired from his little walk today when we went out. He just melts my heart. So once I'm finished with this reel, I'm going to paint my nails, guys. I've got this new gel color, so I will do with you. done a pretty good job to be fair so i will link the nail polish or the gel the shade it's called naked naivety i think it is and the lamp and stuff down below but now i'm going to take my makeup off it's such like my favorite part of the day i've got a little bit of black underneath there i'm going to get into bed and sit on my laptop for like the next hour or so i've got a bit of work to do I've been doing emails this evening down at the desk and I had some dinner. We just had like reheated from the weekend. Then we're going to do our food shop tomorrow and cook some recipes. So I'm sure I will show you guys that tomorrow. But yeah, tonight's not going to be that exciting. Just sitting, working from my laptop in bed. And this one has come to join me. Hello. We've been playing, haven't we? So I've been listening to um, Harry Potter Audible. So... You guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm like a massive Harry Potter geek. I've watched the films, I can't even tell you how many times. Like, I have to watch them all the time. So, I've just downloaded the Audible box. I've been listening to this all day, and I'm already, 
like halfway through and I find it really cool like not therapeutic yeah it's kind of therapeutic just to listen to it in the background like whilst I'm working or painting my nails hoovering cleaning the house like do my makeup it's kind of like my new podcast but it's not it's obviously a book so I've been reading I've been listening to that and also before bed every night I've been reading this it's a mindfulness guide for the frazzled by ruby wax it's like a really well known kind of mindfulness book and it's just basically how to train your mind not to be as stressed and like how we can get so in our heads and just basically have control over it and live a happier life so I'm also reading that in the minute which is really good and just finished this is my little book club part of my vlog I've just finished this which is the make life beautiful and this is um by Sid and Shay McGee which are part of well they own Studio McGee if you watched it on Netflix it's the dream home makeovers it's amazing I love her style love looking at all the interior she does and obviously as I'm studying it in a minute I find it really interesting reading all the box so I've just finished that so one of my new year's resolutions was actually to read more and at least read one book a month so I feel like I'm actually sticking to it this year <laughs> how dark and gloomy it is in the office as well i just feel like today is not my day guys i feel annoyed that i've even put a face of makeup on because it looks like i'm not gonna be able to get work done that i need to so this is just the reality in the winter just literally having to rely on natural light but these are the lights that have come so i'm hoping this might help me i'm just going to quickly unpackage them and see if they will do the job We have been trying to set the lights up for me to film. I'm going to hold you this way actually. But it's just not working guys. You can see them in the picture frames. It's just not really kind of brightening the room. It just feels so cool toned. It's the only way to put it in these kind of like winter months. It just feels really blue. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to be that productive in terms of being creative today. And getting the content I needed to get done. And I basically got makeup on for nothing. But... I think I'm just going to have to call it a day with trying to get this to work and just have an admin day instead and try and get some like emails and all my admin done and caught up with. So 
this is just the reality as you saw yesterday i was like filming and i was shooting outside and today is just not happening just had some deliveries come and how cute is this little packaging with the little easter chick happy easter they've put and this is from letterbox s'mores so this is from a little sort of small business that do s'mores i'm going to open this so you can see here we go, so in here it's called Letterbox S'mores and I'm so excited to do this. This is sort of like what you would use as the fire pit. We've got some mini eggs, oh my god a cream egg, they know the way to my heart. We've got the marshmallows, the graham crackers and then I'm pretty sure under here will be the chocolates. So if you're American you know what a s'more is, if you're not these are what, literally what I was obsessed with when I used to live in LA. You melt the marshmallow you roast it and then you melt it with the chocolate and do two graham crackers with it and that is basically what a s'more is so this is like a little set to do at home so we're going to do this this weekend such a cute idea and just something fun to do whilst we're in lockdown that's a little bit different show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground So a little tip, Chris got me these gorgeous bouquet for Valentine's and it was just so massive so I also had another vase of flowers that were dying so I took like the dying kind of flowers out of it and the ones that still lasted like the eucalyptus I put in another vase took some out of this and then I managed to make another bouquet of flowers which I'll show you so here, look, I managed to make a whole nother bouquet of flowers from the old ones that still lasted and then just added some new ones in, like these gorgeous kind of like rustic roses in here and some of this kind of like whimsical feel. So there you go. You can also make another bouquet out of a dying one. I need to, basically, the reason these cushions are like this is because they're in the wash. I've been washing the sofa, washing the cushions. So that is all underway at the minute. So as it's pancake day, we're having them for dinner. <laughs> You've come prepared. And I feel like it's not. <laughs> you creeper. I feel like it's. One weird spatula bag. Yeah. I feel like it's acceptable on pancake day to eat Nutella out the jar. Mm. Uh, are you going to double dip now? Oh. Can't double dip. It's only me and you, oh isn't it? Oh my god, you're a double dipper. Yeah. Can you get yeah. out the way, please? Right. Are you on duty? I'm on pancake duty. One Nutella yeah. and strawberry. Hold on, wait. And then a one, one lemon and sugar. So we finished our pancakes and Chris has made Bailey his own little one. Um, I've made myself one and he can have a bite. Yeah, with ham and cheese. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Bailey's going to get his own pancake. He's so excited. Oh, wow. Cheese is literally his favourite. It's hot. Is it too hot? It's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. <laughs> Don't know. Taking it away, away with him. I can see the road ahead of me. There you go. Oh, Yum! Wow, is that cheese? That good? Your eyes are shining like the stars. I want more. Oh, 